Tommy, that's a vital three points, isn't it? What are your thoughts after that game? Yeah, I mean, we're at the stage of the season where all the points that we can accrue are hopefully going to be valuable to see us through to the end. So it's not about performances all the time at this stage of the season, it's about getting the winner. But in fairness to the lads, I thought they were excellent in the first half. And to only go in 1-0 was a little bit... Not disappointing, but it was. I thought that the first half performance deserved a little bit more than one, a one goal spread. In fairness to Jimmy and his team, who were already relegated, so I heard in his interview before the game that he wanted to keep the competition honest and he wants to put a team that are going to be competitive, and they were that, and they, re they reflected that. And I thought they, you know, I'm disappointed with the goal we conceded, but to get ourselves up off the floor, um, and go back up the other end and score late on is an excellent achievement by the lads and, and I've told them that but it's not done and ultimately we've got to approach the next three games in the same manner as we've approached the previous three and if we do that and get the same results then you know everything will be hunky dory Well let's talk about that first half a bit more because that was a really good you know, bright start wasn't it and you said didn't you you wanted to see the team come out and attack and did you think you got that today definitely in the first half? Yeah I, I think the finishing the game the way we did down at Eastleigh on Easter Monday has a picture in their head you know if, if you do that for instance, when we finished against Yeovil, I thought we were on the back foot a little bit, and therefore we started at Eastley in a similar fashion. But we haven't carried the momentum on into into this game, and the fact that we've won it shows me that we can react as a group to a little bit of adversity during the game, which is not always easy. If a team gets you know with a foothold in the game, you've got to be able to have that resilience and that steeliness as a group to be able to come back again. And we didn't have a massive amount of chances in the second half, but the little bit of quality that we did have. I thought caused them problems and ultimately the, the, the ball in from Ollie and the finish from Tyler were the winning again. We saw um, Tyler move into you know a central midfield position after a few of the substitutions and you, you did that on Monday as well, so is that something you've really wanted to try since you've come in and, see, and seen, the, seen the lads? There's all sorts of reasons and, and, and what have you, but I'm not going to go into them to let everybody know why, but we, we haven't, we're not adorned with a massive amount of players behind what you're seeing on the team sheet. Obviously we've got Holly Pendlebury and Tyler Frost a little bit away and they may well be involved on the week, on Tuesday or possibly next Saturday but the 16 that I've got are the 16 that I've got so that's how we've got to work it and, and, that, and one or two of them aren't capable on medical grounds to play 90 minutes certainly Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday so that's what we've had with Friday, Monday, Saturday and then Tuesday again so I've had to look after and manage minutes of one or two of the players um, and they understand that they, they know that as well as I do um, but like I said on the whole when I've all settled down and my heart rate's gone down. I'm absolutely delighted. You know, I'm aware of the, the lack of wins at this stadium over the last couple of seasons for this club, and I don't want that to continue. And I'm the manager. I want to win. I won 12 games before Christmas in a previous job. I won 12 games in two years. Yeah, that's not good enough. Well, it was nice to see Tav get amongst the goals again. You know, obviously his first one on Monday and another one here. So he'll he'll hit the ground running now, won't he? Yeah, and I thought Jack's contribution throughout the whole game as well. Whilst he didn't score, was was a continuation of what they showed me at Eastleigh. I think they're a goal threat. Jack's not the biggest, but pound for pound, he's probably one of the best players I've seen in the air. You know, he's 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 an, he's, a, he's an aerial threat. He's actually he's a he's a little dynamo. He moves around Tav really really well. Um, and yeah, I'm delighted. Goal scorers judge themselves on goals, and it doesn't matter what I tell you. And I mean this, I don't care who scores. You know. He's got two and Tyler's got two. It really doesn't bother me as long as we score. I said to the players, if we keep a clean sheet in every game between now and the end of the season, I believe we'll win the games. Because I do think we're a goal threat, not just in the strikers. We have it elsewhere. So I'm really, really pleased. Again, my face very rarely shows that, but I'm, I'm keeping it, keeping the lid on it because at the end of the day, I haven't looked at anything else yet. But I know our job with what we can do isn't finished. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.